So if you want to do anything, just send us your love. That's it. Just close your eyes and send us your love. Love transcends all. Love even transcends language. If you show love to someone who can't speak the same language you do, they'll feel it. It's amazing. Maharishi Mahesh Yogi. If progress is to be maintained, the man has to be more creative every day. The awareness must get onto that reservoir of creativity every day. The source of thought. Every dive, more will come. I love that guy. He's fucking hilarious. If you haven't, if you haven't seen him, a lot of these spiritual teachers, they're hilarious. They've got such a, such a jovial and joyous attitude towards life. So this will probably be the last video you see within this uh, dwelling. Illegal dwelling. I think I'll start this off with, I've come to a sort of revelation and discovery about pure obsessive compulsive disorder and environments and how it's either it's spawned in and also further exasperated and amplified um, how it can turn into severe pure obsessive compulsive disorder. Now, I call these people intrusive humans. Now, they come in many forms. Some just very damaged, a lot of mistakes, a lot of trauma, a lot of unresolved trauma, a lot of mental health issues. It's sort of a reflection of our society as well. Living in a capitalistic structure, everyone is forced to live in a fight or flight mode. Everyone is forced to basically try to climb over the top of each other. As a byproduct, that also spawns not only damaged people, but some very, 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 very damaged people. Almost to the point where that damage is so severe, they transform into something else. So intrusive humans come in many formats, just like, <laughs> and just like intrusive thoughts and intrusive simulations, which is what I call dreams. The more you engage with them, the more difficult life gets. If it's a thought, if it's an intrusive thought, if you engage with your, intru your intrusive thought. But it's not always difficult because sometimes your intrusive thoughts can spawn amazing ideas. Um, it's more so the, the, the meanings you attach to your thoughts, to your intrusive thoughts, the meanings you attach to your simulations. Uh, if you can't become self-aware within a dream, it's just a dream. Same thing with life as well, funnily enough. If you can't become self-aware within life, it's just life but it sort of turns into a journey as soon as you become self-aware which is what happened with my spiritual awakening <laughs> people have spirituality so so it's not that it's wrong or right it's more so it's such a surface level term for explaining something that's so much more deeper or simpler journey <laughs> We got a complaint. So after 13 years of my wife and I living here, we got a council complaint for any Americans watching or other countries. I don't know if you call it something else, but the council is basically, I think the word would be, I'm still enhancing my vocabulary, by the way. So sometimes there will be gaps. So I'm just going to try and revert back to a little bit of an old Yulin for this. Well, not too old. It's sort of the bureaucratic umbrella that looks after looks after community the communities the all the little communities throughout our world our country um the council is built on the capitalistic structure so there's usually you have to get lucky when you deal with them just like police officers just like any authoritative fig uh, figures any th authoritative structure you just sort of have to hope you get someone who's empathetic, someone who's altruistic, someone who's beautiful. Unfortunately, that doesn't always happen. So our place has been deemed unlivable. I think it's been pretty livable. I've survived pretty well. The only thing that I've been struggling with all these years has mostly been my mental health. I'm extremely grateful for living here. I, this place is beautiful. But intrusive humans, particularly, I have a strong sense of the psychopathic and criminality type, are probably some of the most difficult intrusive humans to... Well, there is no dealing with them. There is no negotiating. Do not engage. <laughs> you, just, you just don't engage. 
because the way their lives operate is they are so unaware of most of their uh, most of the actions that they do that when they when they cause suffering or issues within the world around them because they're unaware of this and then someone calls them out on it or sets a boundary or says could you stop that please or could you work on this please they take it very personally as if they're being attacked now obviously i have to be very careful with the way i phrase that because when you use the words they them, I, you, these are egoic constructs. These separate you from everyone. And this is how intrusive humans operate. They operate in the illusion of separateness, as I call it. There are those of us throughout the world that understand that there is a complete opposite side of the spectrum called pure consciousness, love. Love transcends all. Love transcends all. Love even transcends language. If you show love to someone who can't speak the same language you do, they'll feel it. It's amazing. So essentially, imagine there's one side of the spectrum of consciousness where it's pure consciousness, pure love, void of everything else. And then the other side that is so far devolved um, and maybe not devolved. Devolved is another application where it's 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 ob it's objectifying the experience of a, of a human, of a creature, or whatever. Everything has the freedom to exist in the way it wants to, or the way it, it's doing so unawarely, or, you know. But it's, it's the conscious choice a lot of these individuals, who I call intrusive humans, the key word, indi individual, individual, individuality needs to be moderated, I reckon. Not needs to be moderated. You should moderate how much you think in terms of individuality, because we are all connected. Quantum mechanics is continuing to explore this. Many cultures throughout history have discovered this already. It's there. It's just where, for some reason, we're deciding. I mean, not some reason. We want to discover it on our own. Our culture wants to discover it on its own. Anyway, I'll be writing a lot about intrusive humans within the book. But there are distinct different categories of intrusive humans. This one in particular, we are actually extremely grateful for. Without the actions of this intrusive human, we wouldn't have things moving into place faster now. So we're extremely grateful for the things that they have done, but they've also taught us a valuable lesson, and I'm hoping I'm teaching you a valuable lesson here as well. If you notice someone within your life that you meet that exhibits certain qualities that make you feel something's not right tone down the vulnerability take a few steps back and just observe don't engage full throttle but that's about it if you want to help us out do not send money i do not like capitalism i think it is one of the major reasons that we are suffering as a species do not fucking send any money the only reason you should ever send... This is not reverse psychology either, by the way. I'm fucking serious. <laughs> the only reason you should ever send money to anyone is of a... I reckon, a totally altruistic approach. You get nothing out of it. You don't want, want any recognition. You just do it to help them without them even knowing who you are. That is the only time, I reckon, money should ever be... be uh, should ever be donated. It's the ultimate fuck you <laughs> to, to the structure of capitalism. But um, I also forgot the filter, so it's, it's, it's rot here. <laughs> so yeah, our, th through, through a very specific bureaucratic documentation, a very specific section of a law we now have 30 days to leave our dwelling whether or not we have somewhere to go <laughs> and we're grateful because it's 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 helped the process so if you want to do anything just send us your love that's it just close your eyes and send us your love
that's it. That's all. That's all Amanda and I would want. That's all. <laughs> to quote a past present reality, that's all Yolandos and Nanku would want. Just your love. That's it. Okay. Have a good one. Ciao. Mm-hmm. <laughs>